What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the next episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. And yes, streaming has been going nuts at me, all with me trying to prepare this. So I'll get that started first, and then we'll spin the wheel. Pardon. Raiders. Yeah, this has kind of been waiting for a week, hasn't it? Come on, hurry up. I got Pokemon to find. This is honestly my least favorite theme so far, and it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's football based. Right, I forgot that, didn't I? Annoyingly, for the chat box, it doesn't. It it, it has it keeps the same settings even if it's on a different um, version of the chat box. Just to double check. Yep, that's good. Right. <clears throat> we are good. I just need to put some. Here. There. Alright. Let's uh, get the wheel up, eh? Alright. 25 Pokemon to go. We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright guys, our first hunt for tonight is going to contain... Oh, it wants to mess with me, doesn't it? That syndicate wants to mess with me. But right now, we got Mudkip. And I fucking, I'm fucking ecstatic about that. We're getting the Hoenn Stars done. Alright, give me a minute and we'll get started with Mudkip. Actually, I'm, I'm extremely excited about doing Mudkip. This will be my first ever shiny uh, Mudkip. There we go. <laughs> Pardon. Alright. Oh, I forgot to do that, didn't I? Almost done. Sorry about that, my brain ham um, shut down. What's the plus program? I'll have to do some research about that, but I'm kind of curious. Why is the plus program? There. Alright. I think one of the bad parts about looking for Mudkip. It's extremely easy. Do 
Just a simple water sandwich in these caves up here would be good. I'd also be grateful if we bumped into uh, the trap pitch line in the wheel. Yeah, I'm very Gen Free themed in the mine today. Uh, wrong one. Survivor. Yep, save. We just get a water sandwich up and we're good. And I'd be united to actually put Mudkip's thing up. I'm actually more excited about this now, now that we've actually got this going. Uh, sweet and spicy. It ain't, it ain't something Gordon Ramsay would eat, but it's good. Also, yeah, um, apologies about the technical issues we encountered during the Sea of Thieves video. Uh, there was nothing any of us could do at that time. We just had to sack it. The idea about making a YouTube video. I have an idea for something, but it's gonna be a stretch. There we go. One water sandwich ready for one of the best water type stars in the in the franchise. Hey, I ain't a gen for your loyalists, but I know exactly when they've got hidden gems. And Mudkip ain't a hidden gem. It's fantastic. Like there are a lot of things about Gen Three I like. The region's design's amazing. The Pokemon are amazing. I think the only one thing I can say is a negative experience for me with Hoenn is the over usage of HMs and the Torchic line. It's not that Torchic or Blaziken are any bad or anything. It's just compared to how good Sceptile and Swampert are, it's kind of a meh option for me. And I'm sorry for all you VGC loyalists and all that who think the Blaziken are amazing. I'm not saying it isn't, it's just Sceptile and Swampert are just a lot better in that regard of just design and in certain formats they were a bit better than Blaziken. And I'm yeah, I'm mainly talking about before Blaziken got speed boost. I'm not daft, I know when um Blaziken was good. But there are so many good things about Swampert and Sceptile. And since I've already caught Sceptile for this challenge, it's more Swampert's time to actually get some spotlight. <laughs> yeah, basically what you've just seen is all we'll be doing until we find a purple Mudkip. Just gotta go in and out of the caves until we find one. And not try and see him through the floor. I have to say though, chat, I kind of had a bit of a rough experience earlier today. I was trying to help some of my um, 
friends who recently got Sea of Thieves after me. Like trying to understand how the mechanics of the game worked. And we did we're doing really well. We actually got a lot of um, loot on board the ship. And then while we were trying while I was trying to show them how a treasure vault works, we got attacked by a Legacy Ford Reaper ship. Yeah, um, considering the ship was already sunk by the time we got there, there's literally nothing we could have done. Which was extremely frustrating in the regard of it's kind of taunt. It's kind of. I know that's the aim of the game and all that, blah blah. But I can't deny the fact that I was just more frustrated that it happened. That it was us. I guess maybe it's something I need to look at. I'm not denying it. The fact. I am still quite a new Sea of Thieves player myself. And maybe I'm just not used to the idea that s people stealing my loot is something that's gonna happen. Yeah, I think if anything it was more for the fact that the people that took it from us were being really cocky about it. Like they were shooting off fireworks when we tried to come back and steal it back off them. Like they were trying to rub it in our faces. Uh, yeah, you, you, you stole the stuff. You don't need to flip and be cocky about it. Yeah, you've done your job. You know, defend yourself or flip and prepare to give me give our stuff back. Right? You don't have to be flipping horrible about it. Especially since there were new pl we had new players there. I should know a better way to spawn them more often. Ooh. And they bumped into a... What do you call a group of mudkips? <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't seem too bad of a route. Just down here again. The more I move, the better we'd move. I am not very good with words. Not at all. Hmm. You are not what I am looking for. None of them. Something I wonder, but uh, maybe some VGC uh, people can answer the question for me. How come Swampert isn't used as much these days? Like everyone's always praising a fire, a water and ground type for being like an insane type combination, but apart from Gastrodon, I never see that typing around. And I feel like Swampert was like one of the better starters when it comes to bulk and just really good attack. Or is it just the fact that stuff like Amoongus is around or something? Whoops. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. 
Ugh, the hitbox of encountering Pokemon are a nightmare. If any showed up there, where do you little guys be? <laughs> Shiny Mudkip. Oh, uh, it's a female as well. Oh, that's nice. Just doing what I normally do. There. Obviously it didn't have a mark, so it won't matter. Oh, I think I might have been sent to the wrong box. Hang on. Mudkip, we got the mudkip. Mudkip. We got the Mudkip. We will evolve uh, her when she has... When the sandwich is up in the next 20 minutes. There's a good chance we might find a duplicate. If we do find a duplicate, I might not give it to the, the uh, any people watching. Because I think I might know someone else that might benefit from one having a shiny Mudkip more than anyone else would. I won't let them know until obviously we found one. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> Apologies. Has that same mudkit been there the entire time? Arguably this won't be my this wouldn't be my first of the Mudkip line. I do remember I did get a Swamper in the Dynamax Adventures ages ago. Oh, ah dang it. I didn't see it until the last minute. Not leaving cave. Uh, that's an interesting route. The idea is to despawn these guys, aren't we?
Apologies for the uh, quiet again. I don't know why this is still a problem with me. Okay, it's more getting annoying at this point. Am I just... It, uh, am I just a hostage now with between these two mudgaps? Feels like it's the exact same mudkip every time. It probably isn't, obviously, but... What is the point of putting a spawn point behind a lantern? Come on, show me the kips of the muds. Give me the kips of the muds. Give me. Give me the muddy kippies. And there we go again. It's the exact same mudkip's always trying to put me up to the hostage. Same mudkip again. Ah, oh, there's another one. Lovely. It's the smallest possible size. Drop pump. That was a lot. Come on. 
You know you wanna. I know a really good friend who'd like you. Oh, come on. Don't do that. That's not very nice. This one really just doesn't want to be caught, does it? Don't do that. Good work, Renzi. Wow, this mudkip took out Frenzy. You're up, honey crisp. Let's try another dive ball. What's the one Pokeball that would work well for Mudkip? One springs to mind would be the Master Ball, but I don't know. When did that happen? Netball? Okay, what the heck is up with this mudkip? It just doesn't want to be caught. Repeat? Thank you, Jesus. What was that about? Christ, it killed Flippin' Frenzy and half health Flippin' Honeycrisp. Considering <clears throat> Frenzy was the false swiper, maybe I should have done that first. Right, let's save so we can keep all those two mudkips. And I'll wait until my friend, the friend of mine, um, gets back to me on if he actually wants that mudkip. Nine minutes left on that sandwich. I don't know what would happen if we get a third, but we'll see what happens. Yes, that did something, didn't it? Jesus. Come on, where is everyone?
Okay, I know this can spawn more than one mudkip. Not funny. Uh, random Gothita. Can't say I'm wondering. Can't say I'm knowing why that that's the case. It must be a static spawn of some kind. Stream Raiders ready, but um, obviously someone's busy with a D&D session, so I don't think they'll be showing up anytime soon. And why exactly did that happen again? There we are. Oh, whoops. Where are you? Come on. I don't know why I should be saying that. I've already found two. So I'm kind of lucky, aren't I? Yeah, I'll just stop saying come on. <laughs> like, I've already gotten as much as I want. It should be an added bonus if we found a third. Like this third, if we did find a third one, then yeah, that would go out of the community if they wanted it. Come on. Sorry, sorry. Old habits. How long left till the sandwich is up and then we'll... Oh, just under four minutes and then we'll move on to the next option. Mudkip went by really quick. I'm happy about that. But I'm also not happy about it because, like, this is such a good Pokemon and I just... I like using and seeing it. The only thing about it is I wish I had a better hidden ability. Come on, damp is the best you could do. Well, imagine if it got Earth Eater. No, no, not Earth Eater. Well, I don't know what other ability would work on it that would make it broken. Come on. Come on, if you give a Sab Sipper, then you're asking for trouble. Speaking of Sab Sipper, I actually did come up with a unique strategy in VGC involving a Hisuian Lilligan and Hisuian Gudra. I made it mainly an offensive. 
I made it mainly a physical offensive Gudra, like with moves like a heavy slam and a dragon claw, like that sort of stuff. And uh, I had the Lilligant use a uh, Pestle Blizzard. And uh, if you didn't know, that's a spread physical move that kind of hits everyone on the, on the field. I bet like how Brutal Swing works as a dark type move. So it would hit both targets, but also hit my Gudra, and would activate its Sap Zipper ability. I, th I think it worked well. I might even bring it back. Heck, I might have even been able to use after you on it, since uh, Gudra is mainly a slow Pokemon. It's a shame I can't put that strategy together with an Archelodon team. Thing is, um, I usually put a Sui and Lilligant next to a Torkoal for a more familiar uh, strategy of using after you on Torkoal while it used Eruption. So, yeah, that was fun. Obviously, that wouldn't work in a team with Archelodon involved, but then again, thinking about it, I can't really put an Archelodon on the same team as a Hisui and Gudra. It's just type overlapping. See, at the moment, I'm thinking Hisui and Lilligan, Hisui and Gudra. Um, I'm not certain on if it would be a weather team yet. Because if it was a sun team, I'd obviously put Torkoal in. Then maybe Venusaur or Superior. I'm thinking more of the Venusaur because the whole. Huh, oh, convenient. Uh, chlorophyll ability. Yeah, I think I might have something going here. Can a Syrian little get learn Tailwind? Feels like it'd be the something that could. Climb the ladder, thank you. Nope. I keep going to that same dead end all the time. Whoa. Lots of mudkips. Uh, just finally uh, straightening my uh, face out with the rest of the camera. So I'm not just on one side the whole time. Just checking those uh, horses, just in case. I I hope Legend Z is a lot more graphically enhanced than this game was. Oh, that magma means that the sandwich is up. Yeah, right. Let's evolve the first mudkip we got. Oh, that was a really good itch. Oh, it's adamant as well. That's really good for a Swampert. There we go. It's tiny. Actually, yeah, <laughs> March Jump is a lot smaller than I was anticipating. Much shot. Yeah, it's a ground type move, I guess. I guess. Marsh jump to swamp it becomes more of a drastic change. It
I am correct, Jesus. Swampet's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I don't normally do this, but it's because of how awesome this Swamper is. No, I can do one without the uh, weird bubble thing. That's better. Oh, expect that on you, uh, Twitter later on. Sorry, I took so long admiring that swamp. It just—it looked really cool to finally have one. Another job well done. Right. Let's just go stream raiders and then we'll do our next hunt. Uh, ignore that. Um, hello? Move! Finally, he decides to move. Jesus. There we go. Leveling up my Abyss Warden. Even though I didn't know I had one of them. <laughs> uh, let's go for the loyalty token chest. Hmm. Let's go for Mr. T. Oh, and it's actually a decent board this time. Right. Let's just get the the wheel up. Okay. <clears throat> our next wheel for today, uh, our next hunt for tonight will be. Oh, Blitzel. Another shiny I don't have yet. Alright, we can work with that. Let me just uh, update the overlay before we get moving. Blitzel, Blitzel. Ah, Blitzel. It seems like this is going to be one of those annoying hunts, considering that Blitzel's kind of a less obvious option. But hey, reap what you sow. There. 
to the safari area. If I can figure out how to get out of these catacombs. Are you kidding me? Ah, hello Ransod, how are you doing today? <clears throat> I haven't, it's been a while, have you been alright? Like, no, no problems or anything? In case you just missed it, we have just grabbed a gloriously fantastic mudkip. And we are on our way now to go and get us a blitzel. And it would be criminal if I didn't call it uh, Marty. Voiced by the by Chris Rock. But of course, uh, let's not uh, get into the nitty gritty details. How are you today? Oh yeah, I was looking for Confei after we found Snubble last time. Just Blossom. I thought that was something else then. In case people are curious, we still have some new sounds ready to go as well. Things from Hasbin Hotel and things from my childhood. Ah, we have arrived. The Savannah Biome. Right, if I'm correct, in which I'm usually never. Blitzel is the only electric type that you can grab around here. Which means just a standard electric sandwich should do. Does that make a bit of sense? Heck of a good itch. We nearly had trapping as well, that would have been cool. Alright. You know, on an outside perspective, you'd think that uh, Blitzer would be a electric normal type, considering how basic it looks with it being a zebra. What are you doing? Zebras can drive. Only penguins and people can drive. I feel like we need to make some sort of reference to that when we've got Mike's penguin design going. Oh, what was the combination for electric types? Just yellow peppers, I guess, yeah? Yellow peppers. There we are. Da, 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 da. Some bitter and sour. Nice! Daniel Aid, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. We are looking Daniel for Aid a fantastical zebra today. Expect a lot of Madagascar references. But yes, uh, we have just uh, managed to grab ourselves the fantastic Pokemon that it's a Mudkip. And we did actually find a duplicate, and usually I would give the duplicate out to you lot, but I know a friend who'd like it a lot, so I have reserved it for them. If they say no, they don't mind if I take it to someone else, then yeah, it's up for grabs. Which reminds me, I need to check if they've actually replied. There you go, got it. Right. Yeah, Daniel A, uh, Ransod, you, you too good. Ooh. Hey, 
And there we go. Those aren't electric types, they're fire types. Yes, electricity can make fire, but not the point. It's all about that kinetic energy in it. I did make the rice sandwich, right? <laughs> yeah, electric. Then where are all the blitzels? Alright, there we go. Okay, I think the main distinct distinctive trait to look out for is the fact that the eye color is different and the color in its ears are different. It's going to be a lot of staring. Again, reap what you sow. Uh, but also, um, I have a YouTube channel as well, if people want to follow that. If you use the prompt exclamation mark YouTube, you shall get the link to my channel there. Of course, it's totally up to you. But it is every 99. And I know I'm annoying, I apologize. Yeah, there's another shiny I don't have. Yeah, none of them. Nope. And none of them. Nope. Nada. Why are all these blitzels looking away from me? Turn towards me. This is gonna sound a bit weird or something, but what would a zebra taste like? Like, would it be like the whole situation with horses again? No, because horses and zebras are very similar. Like, I'd never eat a horse. I'll say that on camera. I will never ever eat a horse. But my question is like, would a zebra be different than a horse when it comes to taste? Or would it be similar? That, that's just my main question of the whole situation. And yeah, I know, I've labelled myself as being a weirdo by talking about eating a, a fan favourite Savannah animal. But I'm just being very autistic at the moment, just wondering the most random bullshit. Shade, but you're not. No. No. There's a good chance I've already skimmed over the. There's a good chance I'm still looking at the ones I checked earlier. Let me let me Jeff uh, J away for a second so new ones will spawn. No. No. Yeah, it's like a, a really bright green eye on the pupils.
Thank you. Oh, is that it already? Oh, sweet. And it's marked as well. There we go. We got a shiny on screen, ladies and gentlemen. I'll uh, we'll try. I'll we'll try an ultra ball because it fits the whole strike thing. And no, I'm not gonna hit it because I have a well-known fact that this thing can learn wild charge. It's a move that'll hit itself. Well, we're getting the hunts done early today, aren't we? That's good. Yeah, I, I can't full swipe this thing. It'd be too risky. There we go. Let's sell another luxury ball. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, right, I gotta change the uh, thumbnail. Not uh, thumbnail, uh, overlay. And then we hide and there. Shiny Blitzel. And yep, it has a mark. It's modest, but I can't remember if it's a mixed attacker or a physical attacker. I think it's a physical attacker. Alright, this mudkip stays... Wow, that's enough of good nature for it. Alright, this mudkip stays out of the way for now. Alright, let's have a look at the mark. Oh, Blitzel the Sleepy. Alright, we're catching up with marks now, that's fantastic. Alright, we'll evolve that later, when the sandwich is done. Any other Blitzel now will uh, be up for grabs for anyone who manages to answer a few questions on YouTube, or if anyone just in the chat wants a Blitzel. If anyone wants a shiny Blitzel, let me know. That'll be the main hope we have for duplicate shinies in this stream. If anyone wants the duplicate, they can ask for it. So, Branzard, uh, Daniel Aid, if you guys want a shiny Blitzel, just let me know. Just as long as you have a Switch and a copy of Scarlet and Violet and a Nintendo online account. <laughs> I know I did a bit of a tall grass, but... And I was miles away from that Blitzel, just to be added. <sighs> apologies, apologies. I don't know where that burst of tiredness came from. Yes, it does show how sad my life is when I'm able to hunt for all 60 new members of the game in a few weeks. Like, we're nearly reaching the 20 mark. Like, we're getting really close to finishing this challenge. It's scary and exciting at the same time. It's weird. Heck, if I know if it'd be the idea for me to ever do this again, though. I just don't know. I don't know if I should ever do this again. Unless they in implement a new shiny hunting method in the next games that are not as bad as the sandwich hunting. Well, I'm not saying like sandwich hunting is a bad method. It's actually one of the better ones recently. Yeah, don't ask why I'm just quickly looking over this lake. It's mainly because I still don't have a shiny Tynamo or Electric yet. Might as well have a quick nosy one here. And yeah, I don't know if any of those uh, Tynamos are shiny, so maybe I might just do it on my own time where I can just prioritize it. Thing is, I'll let you guys in on a secret about my personal life. Apart from the Shiny Academy Challenge, I've kind of took a small break from the franchise. 
mainly just, it's more for the fact that um, more things have been on my mind recently. But it's kind of for the fact that I think the franchise has gone a bit burnt out for me recently. So I'm thinking maybe a bit of a break might help. Obviously I can't stop the Academy Challenge. The Academy Challenge is going strong. So I'm keeping that going. But I think I just naturally started to have a break from the game. Which I've only just realized that's been the case. And heck, maybe I might break that, well, break at some point and maybe start going through an in-game playthrough at some point. But at the moment, I, I haven't played any Pokemon in a while. I'm not saying I'm not bored or anything, I've played stuff like Sea of Thieves and... Yeah... Okay, to be fair, I think Sea of Thieves is the only thing I've been playing recently ever since it came out. Uh, I can't think of anything else I've been playing recently. Oh, uh, Star Rail. I've been trying to get back into Star Rail, but I don't think that's going to be a permanent fixture. I I do try my best to try and get myself hooked into a gacha, but I'll admit it's not easy. I do have a 30 pull ready to go on the next update, or the next uh, banner pull thing. I just need to figure out if the characters coming in that poll are actually good for the team I'm trying to build with Black Swan. If you guys know what that means. <laughs> I'm getting a bit flustered here. I don't know why though. Yeah. 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 I think I've just uh, generally been exhausted. Or a bit worn out. Eh, it's an easy fix. I think, anyway. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I've also got to ask out of the chat, um, have you guys watched the most recent um, Amazing Digital Circus episode yet? It came out late yesterday. It's amazing. Honestly, I think it might be a, a go-to show now. Along with uh, Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Especially now that Hell of a Boss has gotten a, a Season 2B trailer now. I'm really getting excited for that. But it's obviously down to the fact that these shows I've been picking up recently are more for quality and not quantity. Of course, that is a good way to do it, because that means we're going to be enjoying the shows better. But uh, obviously that means there's going to be huge gaps between each episode. It is kind of a... Oh, oh. Oh god, that's a terror Pokemon, isn't it? It, it does this really annoying repetitive glitch. Where basically it, it hides that it's uh, a terror Pokemon. There you go. That wasn't very nice, was it? Just to give off a quick sound to make things exciting. Yes, how evil indeed. And yes, if people do want to take part in uh, Stream Raiders, you're welcome to. The stand to arms, my brethren. Hey, we got another one.
Yeah, I don't know who'd want this Blitzel, so... Anyone anyone who wants a sh an extra shiny Blitzel? Uh, for grabs. Yes, I caught your brother. So what? Jeez, that sounded really morbid, didn't it? <laughs> Obviously, I'm keeping the marked one. Yeah, we'll keep the duplicate shinies over here. Oh, is this going to be this week's theme of episodes? Just duplicate? I think I might have uh, been a bit sidetracked. Sorry. Yeah, no blitzels are showing up. I've only got to the one bit where they don't spawn anymore. Danielade, I have to admit, that name's actually pretty cool. Danielade. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue really well. I had a rough time with names myself when it came to picking the name of my ship in uh, Sea of Thieves. Echoes of the Damned sound alright at first, but now I realize it's a bit edgy. My other two ships aren't as bad. The Flying Fox and the Sapphire's Wing. I think at some point I might change the name of my galleon. Something that's less edgy. But something that still represents the word echo. You're welcome to make suggestions in the chat and in comments if you want. But it has to involve the word echo in some point. That's a really big step striker. looks different. Let's have a look. Yeah, no. That wasn't it. How long does this sandwich have? 11 minutes. Do 
Just checking. I think this is the only Blitzels I'm going to get at this point, but I ain't complaining. We actually found it, so... Ugh. Again, I'm just dreading when it's time to go after Cyndaquil. If anything, I'm just going to have to try and research that method everyone's been using. Like, as much as I'd like to take a shortcut and go into Legends Arceus, a number of reasons is why I can't. One. It's the whole point of the challenge. I need to stay in Scarlet and Violet and do it through the DLC. And two, I reset over my old save file of uh, Legends Arceus, so I can't even do it that way. Frankly, I'm realizing that was a bit of a mistake. So yeah, the only way for me to get Shiny Cyndaquil is to bite the bullet and just do it through um well this game <laughs> oh come on oh come on that's a third one now I can't make this up, I'm sorry. I gotta make it up. One unit again. It has a mark, this one has a mark as well. Let's have a look. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my! <laughs> this is so very shiny on stream. <laughs> oh God, yes. For people who don't know, chat, this is arguably the rarest shiny in the game. A shiny with a rare mark. We are still keeping this one. Oh god, I'm shooken up. Woo! Ramark subtract uh, rest Ramark Blitzel. Whoa. That is a highlight. That is a highlight. <laughs> Six minutes left. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a little bit impatient, especially after that uh, rare mark shiny. I might skip the rest of the sandwich. I know that it didn't take long to find it, and we found it, but I kind of want to do something else. 
Alright. Well, I did. Well, I did. How much did I unlock here? Gold Handball Shinobi Mr. T got leveled up, fool. Let's see if we got any new skins. <laughs> we got a lot. I'm sorry guys, but I'm a bit shocking up after all that. It's exciting. Wrong one. <laughs> Alright then. Guys. Last tones of tonight will contain Oh, cottony. That's a nice one. I just remembered I forgot to evolve Blitzel into a sub striker. <laughs> Easy fix, though. This is easily our rarest shiny yet. Biggest fan of the purple. Still a really, really rare shiny, this. That's my second ever rare shiny as well. My first ever was a Farigarath. Alright. Let's save, and then we'll get over to the tropical outpost. Or whatever.
Oh, right, I need to go get Courtney's uh, thing. No, no. Out of all the Pokemon that are, um, say, what's it called? Uh, VGC relevant, Whimsicott's gotta be one of my favorite. Although I have to admit, though, I'm kind of upset about one thing. A friend of mine always n pronounces it as Whims of Scott, and I can't get enough of how annoying that is. I, I frankly think he's doing it on purpose to annoy me. What but I've asked him. There we are. Cottony. Very Gen 5 themed, apart from the, the Mudkip today. Alright, let's get over to the tropical biome. The question is, I think we need to use a fairy sandwich. Because obviously where this thing uh, spawns... There's going to be a lot of grass types, so we can't use a grass sandwich. What do you think I am? I'm a gamer! I don't touch grass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. just have enough as well. I need to remember to sort that out next week. Salty and spicy. This is going to be a very unbalanced sandwich. Second floor, it might be all right. Oh, that was going then. <laughs> Ugh, I, I, I hate tomatoes, it's horrible. Hey chat, you ever have that one itch that feels absolutely serotonin filled when you scratch it? Shame I haven't had an opportunity to use an IDRX marker yet this stream. I might have an IDRX marker if we get caught any early and then I can try and see if I can find Comfy again like I did last week. 
Ah, whimsicott. Ah yes, I forgot there was an outbreak of muck happening right now. I might have to be a bit careful about that, haven't I? Yep, and that 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 this is exactly why I didn't use the grass sandwich. Like even with the fairy sandwich on, there are still some grass types showing up. They're not shiny. Nor is that one. Nor that one. I was wondering what that was for a second, I just, it took me forever to realize it was a two cannon. Considering what I did last week, I should know what a shiny two cannon looks like. See, there you go, yeah. Oh, they're not shiny. That's not what I'm looking for. There was a massive gap between the last colony. Oh. Sorry about me constantly moving. I guess it's just me, I guess. Come on, I know you're there somewhere.
Uh, Ransard, you're not there, are you? Still. I kicked my table. <laughs> I kicked my table. Ow. Apologies for the background noise if that's visible. If that's um, being pegged up by the mic. I can hear it even through my, my headset. So I'm assuming you guys can hear it too. So I apologize for that. Of course there's nothing I can really do about it. Since it's someone else doing it. Nope, none of them. actually save for this one because I don't I've already haven't found it yet. Nah. I'm brain wording banging uh bon Francoiring. Uh I'm not very good at wording No, no no not you two Well, the chat moved for a second. I was up in there with the new message. I want communication. I want people to talk to me. The silence is killing me. I've always had the belief to always let people join when they wanted to. I don't want anyone to ever feel pressured on my channel whatsoever. Obviously that means I have to suffer for that, but as long as everyone feels comfortable around the channel, I'm somewhat happy with that, but there's not much I can do right now, is there? So I, I just gotta just grit me teeth and get on with it, right? That is the better way to put it. Mm. Apology. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, laddie? Don't question why I randomly picked up an accent that was very bad. 
feel like every time I speak, I'm somehow offensive to something. <laughs> even something that hasn't even been invented yet. Or come up with. Looks like we're doing the two can treatment. Eh, alliteration. Yeah, th this is the better way to do it. Just in and out of this island. I thought that was orange then. How can I mistake green for orange? It's the most opposite size of the color wheel. Again, apologies for the silence. I know that's a repeating record thing, but I'm just constantly trying to concentrate because I don't trust my own eyes. I need, I need something to talk about. Just get my mind off this. How much time does it go? Yeah, so after this sandwich we'll finish off whether we find uh, Connie or not. Oh, that was a really good edge.
Hmm. Really tiny uh, fl fluctuation in the sound quality there. Weird. What's with my itches today? I believe uh, that uh, Cottony is either being, well, picky about uh, when it wants to show up to be shiny, or I used up all my shiny luck trying to find that, um, trying to find Blitzel and I get in a one with a rare mark. You can't deny that was flipping amazing, and the fact that I got three of them and one of them had a rare mark. Clutch moment, I uh, clutch moment. The only Pokemon I have that's rare enough as to be as that would be the Foregoraph I also caught that had a, a rare mark. I've caught a uh, Pokemon with rare marks before, but it's the major ones that are shinies. That's when you can start glowing and have bragging rights. When you have shinies with a rare mark. I thought that was a Poblio for a second, but it's just a Froakie. Ten minutes to go. Oh, over ten minutes, but you got my point. TV, you cannot turn off right now. I need you. Getting a really nasty, sweaty thumb from doing this for the last two hours. Nine minutes.
Hmm. Okay, this is weird glitch that's not registering what I just picked up, wasn't it? That's all set for when we're done. Although I want to assume that it's just me that's put something down there. Yes, there's one. Yes! <laughs> Shiny cottony. That will do very much. That's a good way to finish off. Try a fastball. Nah, worth a shot. Just go for the regular ultra. Sweet. There's no point carrying on the rest of the sandwich, we're done. Right. Let's uh, quickly evolve Cottony into a fabulous Whimsicott, and then we'll be done. Wrong button again. Now, if I remember right, Cottony requires a Sunstone to evolve. I am right. Awesome shiny, a really awesome shiny. I love it. It's one. It's got to be in my top ten shinies. That it's one of those subtle but effective ones. And with that, another job well done. Not the best nature, but well. And done. And we just need to do stream raiders, and then we'll be actually done. Done. Ignore that. Open up the wrong one. There. And yeah, do this and we're done. What the heck is he doing? So that guy's got a whip? Jeez. 
Jesus. He's taking damage a lot. Gotta take care of... Oh god, those are... Dang it! Alright, Game. Can't win them all. No problem. Alright. So, uh, that will be it for today, guys. Uh, in terms of uh, Pokemon, massive success. We got two Mudkips, three Blitzels, one with even a rare mark, and a uh, Cottony. Ma massive success. So, yeah. Uh... That'll be it for today. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Nothing else to say about YouTube. But yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed today's stream. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. See ya.